All right, guys, welcome back after that short break. Okay, I hope you have your pens, your calculators, books ready, because now we're going to put all whatever I said into practice. Let's look at our first example. So here I indicated seating plans. And question one says, study the cinema seating plan and answer the question that follow. Now, as you know, it's good practice to, first of all, get familiar. Look at what is presented to you before you jump into answering the questions. Now, here is our cinema seating plan. You can see we have two entrances to it, right? There's entrance one, entrance two. We have also two sides. Besides the center, there's, we have side AA as well as side BB. We can see there, north is facing upwards as well. Very important to know, right? Then also, we have our screen right here in front, okay? What else is important for us is that a key is given indicating that seats that are not available, it's this one, and then available seats, it's this one. All right, so please note this is what we will be working with. Now let's look at our first question. Question one says, Kevin holds a ticket number K4 and enters the cinema using entrance two. Assist Kevin to find his seat. All right, so here we have entrance two. Kevin will enter here, we agree. Right, that's entrance two. Kevin is looking for seat number K4. Now guys, first of all, if I look how the seating plan is arranged, right? We'll see, here we start with A, B, C, D, all the way up to J. So my conclusion will be that there is no seat for Kevin because there is no row K. Are we clear on that? So let's quickly write that down. There will be no seat for Kevin. Right? As there is no row J. Right? Not J, sorry, that's there is a J, that's actually our last. No row K. I hope that's clear to all of you. We just want to see do are you able to interpret the seating plan that's given to you. So there's no row K. All right, let's move on to our next question. Question number two, write down the general direction, seat J5 face, right? So here we have J, row J, we agree on that. We have to look for seat five, so we agree it's this seat here. Now, remember we are saying north is facing that way, so meaning south will be here, we agree. So remember, you must put yourself now in this seat. So which way will you be facing whilst sitting on this specific seat, J5? We agree, we'll look at the screen. So therefore, we will say that seat J5 will be facing south. Are we clear on that? Okay, next question. Number three, write down the total number of available seats on the northeastern side of the screen. Right, so first of all, I need to find out where is northeast, and then I must go to my key, looking at what represents available seats. We agree on that, okay? So let's look at where will northeast be. So I'm just gonna do this to help me, okay? And you are more than welcome to do the same when you work with maps and plans. So that will be west, we agree, this will be east. So therefore, northeast will be here, meaning it will be the side here. Are we clear? So I completed the first part of the question. I found northeast. Now I must see how many available seats or the total number of available seats will be on this side. So I will quickly count. It's four, eight. And guys, how you derive it, the answer is entirely up to you. Right? Remember, we are basically counting the blank ones. So it's four, Eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 27, 30, 33, 35. I counted 35. And please, it's always good practice to double check your answer. Let's see that again. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 27, 30, 33, 35. So there are 35 available seats. I hope that's clear to all of you. Let us now look at the next question. Ofense enters the cinema through entrance one. 
She goes down the passage, enters the second row from the front on the left hand side and takes the second last seat. Write down offenses seat number. Write a mouthful, but remember you put yourself in the shoes of the person entering here. Okay, and you follow exactly what is being mentioned here. So let's find entrance one. So there's entrance one. So offense basically will come down as the arrow is indicating here. Right? She goes down the passage, right? Enters the second row from the front. So meaning it will be this row here because this is the first row now. Second row from the front on her left hand side. Again, put yourself in her position. Right? And takes the second last seat. So let's move. We agree this will be the second last seat in this second row from the front. Are we clear on that? Now, write down offenses seat number. Okay, so therefore, if you look at this, first of all, we start with the row. We agree it will be in row B. And then, and now I'm going to move upwards. It's like a two-way table, now or a graph, where, where they intersect. So, it will be here. And then, there's our seat number. So, it will be seat 14. We agree that this will be Seat B14. Can you see it becomes easy if we follow exactly what the instruction is indicating? Now let's look at number five. Question number five says identify the row furthest from the screen. Okay, so here is our screen. The row furthest from the screen. Which one will that be? I agree with you. That will be row number J, this one here. Right at the back. Okay, so therefore I'll indicate this will be row J, the row that's furthest from the screen. Okay, let us look at question number six. It says, write down the side with the least number of available seats. All right, the side with the least number of available seats. Remember here, we said how many, we've answered this one already. Here we have 35 available seats. Obviously, this one has a lot more. We agree on that. Okay, so I don't have to count that one, right? Let me look at side AA. How many available seats will we have here? I can already see this one will have more because look at the seats that are not available here. We have only four seats that's not available. But here we have five seats that's not available. But let's us check. Okay, so it's four, eight, twelve. 16, 20, 24, we agree, that will give me 27, that will give me 30, that will give us 33, 34, 35, 36, so here I have 36 available seats, so the question says decide with the least number of available seats, so therefore this answer here will be side B, B, guys is that clear to all of you, let us again take a quick break, after our break, we'll look at floor plans. See you now.